Hello everyone, this is Chris with Secret Fab. Today I'm going to stand behind the camera and try to get through this installation pretty quickly. What we are installing are these cursive emblems. These are metal and they are actually Ford licensed products. We're going to throw in 3M adhesive promoter and six alignment strips. You might see that there are only three here, but just wait. I do have a speed wipe. This doesn't have any wax in it. I do have a microfiber and I do have a Secret Fab application fluid. You can also use one drop of dish soap mix in a cup of water for these alignment strips. I put that on the back of the alignment strips. Now I cleaned all of this area around the badge that we are going to replace and I put that soapy water or sick fab application fluid on these alignment strips. These alignment strips run one inch tall and 12 inch long. I used the fender line right there for the top one, and then I dropped one going straight down. Uh, your door actually curves a little right there, so it makes the front fender curve. So 90 degree angle right there, and then a strip along the bottom of the Badlands, uh, just going the opposite way. Again, another 90 degree angle. So this area is completely cleaned and prepped. Uh, we don't have ceramic coating on this vehicle. We don't have any wax and that detail spray we were using does not contain uh, any wax as well. So next I'm going to do what I'm going to do is pull this OEM badge off. People do this quite frequently. Go ahead and get that off and then clean up any of the residue around it. Let me do that and I'll finish up our installation and show it to you. All right, so what I did was remove the residue from the original badge. You can use Goo Gone or you can use our removal fluid. Just make sure that this area is completely clean and then use that 3M applicator sponge, the adhesive promoter, and put it through this entire area. Now, what we were doing with these alignment strips is just making a frame of reference so that when we reinstalled it, we can get it parallel to the bottom line and I want it an inch below here. So I have it almost touching that part right there. What we did on these, we actually removed the locator pins because these were designed for the original Broncos. The original Broncos actually have holes in the fender and these slip right in, but we removed those pins so you don't have to drill. Uh, we added that adhesive promoter to the pack. So they definitely don't fall off. And when you're all done, just take all those alignment strips off and clean this area down really well because you did use that promoter on this fender. What I would do is actually prepare each side and then run the sponge over the application area on both sides because that sponge can dry out. But I'm really digging how this looks. It's not the cheap plastic emblem. It's not the knockoff. It's actually officially Ford licensed stuff. You can find these on our website in a variety of colors. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already and hit the bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.